Hello friends, in this video on alcohol, phenols and ethers part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will take some common IUPAC name of alcohol. We have already discussed this in the chapter of hydrocarbons how to name. So we have discussed this again, we will discuss recap this once again. So what you have to do is, you have to replace E with all. Right. So, if you have the alkane from which you are getting the alcohol, for example, you have methane, right? Methane, and from this you get you replace one H and make it OH, you get CH3OH. So, methane becomes methanol. Methane becomes ethanol. Correct. So, you have to find the longest chain and you have to start the numbering such a way that the hydroxyl groups get the lowest number. And then you can give the positions of OH groups and other substituents in the compound. So we have discussed all the naming conventions in the hydrocarbon chapter. Let's take some examples now. So let's write IUPAC name for this. So this is from methane you have got this compound. So methane. was a compound so instead of E you have to make it all so it becomes methanol correct same thing here this is meth it pro from propane you have got this so it was propane you remove E and make it all so it becomes propanol this was meth it prop again this was prop Propane, propane. It was actually probe to in, so it will become probe, probe in to all. It was probe to in. Sorry, yeah. It is <coughs> probe, probe. Yeah, from propane you have got propanol, so it is propanol. But the all is at second position. One, two, three, four, right? So here it is. One, two, three, four. The numbering convention. So this is the second position. We'll make it propane to all. Right, so it was actually from propane, so it is propanol, but the OH is the second position, it becomes propane to all. So let's see the common name. For common name, there is no naming convention as such. This is from methane, so this is methyl alcohol. This is from propane, so it is propyl alcohol. Since this is the last item, use use N-propyl alcohol, straight one. This is also propyl alcohol, but since the middle one has the OH, so it will isopropyl alcohol. It's a branch, so it's isopropyl alcohol. So as I've discussed this earlier also, the common names, right? There is no as such rule for that. And that's why we came with IUPAC name. Let's take some more examples. This is myth it pro but right? So it is from butane. So remove E and become all. So it's become butanol, and that is my IUPAC name. Correct. Let's see the common name of this. This is myth it pro but so it's butyl alcohol. It's all straight, so it's N butyl alcohol. It's N butyl alcohol. Correct. Let's see this guy is myth it pro but right? So it's but again, it is same fashion, it is butane. So you remove in becomes all so it becomes butanol, but this OH is at 1, 2, 3, 4th position, sorry, 2nd position, so it will be butane 4 all, correct? Sorry, 2 all at 2nd position, butane 2 all. 
or you can think in this fashion you have this butane right you have to remove e and move it to all y because the oh is at second position so it is butane to all let's see the iupac uh, common name for this so the common name is uh, pretty easy this is butyl alcohol and this is that uh, branch so it is sec butyl alcohol this is my common name and this is my iupac name here also this is my iupac and this is my common name let's take these examples now so this has 1 2 3 4 carbons actually right if you want to number where should get the less number so it is 1 2 and 3 here so what will be the name of this compound iupac name so at 1 i have oh group and 2 i have methyl group right so the substituents are 2 methyl meth eth pro propane one all so it will be 2 methyl at second i have methyl group it is 2 methyl then meth eth pro the longation has 3 pro all single bonds in at one i have a all propane one all this will be the iupac name let's see the common name for this the common name of this will be isobutyl why because uh, the butane chain itself is uh, uh, what do you call chain one it is not the straight one right so it is branched chain actually so it's butyl isobutyl alcohol isobutyl alcohol this is my iupac and this is my common So let's see this guy now. The longest chain is what one two. This is my longest chain only, right? This is the max I can have. So what will be the name of this? One one dimethyl meth eth ethanol, right? This is the longest chain I'm getting. One one dimethyl at one I have two methyls meth eth all single bond in at one I have OH OH correct this is very common name IUPAC name sorry similarly for this alcohol now uh, sorry let's write the common name for this. So the common name of this will be this butyl is tertiary. So it is tert butyl alcohol. Okay. The next is this guy. So it is. One, two, three. You can start the naming coming from any other place. It doesn't matter. It's all symmetrical. So one, two, three. It is one, two, three, and it is, we have meth eth pro. So it is pro. The primary group is alcohol here, and uh, we have pro in. At one, two, and three, I have alcohol. So it will be one, two, three, triol. Right? Propane one, two, three, triol. And the common name of this is glycerol. we'll study more about glycerol and glycol in the next few slides correct this is my iupac name this is my common name let's try to understand how to name cyclic alcohols in fact with this also we have done in the hydrocarbon chapter we'll repeat this we'll use the word prefix called cyclo for example in this case we have 1 2 3 4 5 hexane right so it will be is cyclo hexanol that will be the iupac name in this case will be we will start the numbering from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 
4, 5. So that 2 have a methyl group, so it will be 2 methyl. And then I have 5, it will be a cyclo, so it is cyclo pent, it's 5, all single bond in, and 1 I have all, so pent and 1 all. This will be the name of this. This is methyl, M A T H Y L. Yeah. Two methyls, uh, cyclopentanol, and this is cyclohexanol. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.